said in my last video, I am heading to Siem Reap today, which is very exciting. I've been wanting to go there for a long time. Um, I don't know why I'm talking like this. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get to do a lot today because when I arrive in Siem Reap, it'll be 3.15. And then I have a feeling it's going to be raining when I'm there as well. So hopefully I'll have something to put in the video. All right, it's time to board. I never quite understand why... I don't know, maybe you could write this in the comments. Why does everyone like line up to go on the plane when you know that the line's gonna be gone eventually anyway if I could just wait till the end and then just like walk straight onto the plane. I'd much prefer to do that. Maybe write it in the comments below if you'd like to do that. Hi, let me know. <laughs> right, let's go. Airbnb surprisingly but I think it's officially a hotel. I've noticed a lot that in um, a lot of like poorer Asian countries a lot of hotels advertise on Airbnb which is why Yoshi and I had a really bad experience in Nusa Penida because they're overbooked because they had it on booking.com and Airbnb and like multiple other websites and it was that was a disaster. But this place looks lovely. I've already been taking a little tour of my hotel room but Thought I might just show you what 28, what 28 US dollars will do for you for a hotel in Cambodia. Ta -da! We have the living area, lovely. Good old balcony, good. There's a safe, very nice. Yes, the decent sized fridge actually, so that's good. I get free breakfast. Yes, thank you. Oh, look, a mirror. Hi guys. And the bathroom. It's already like 5.15 now. I don't think I can really get much sightseeing in today, so I thought I might just show you around the hotel and what you can get for very little dollars here in Cambodia, apparently. Then I might just head into town and get some dinner. It's a company that's basically helping putting money back into the community. So I always feel like this whenever I go and travel to like third world countries or the really poor kinds of areas. I feel like my tourist money, like I, I want to give it to the right people. I want to make sure that I'm supporting the right businesses and companies and stuff like that. And actually like a sad, sad majority of that money goes not to the families and not to the people providing the service. So basically this company called Friends International, they're here to help put money back into the communities. And not only that, they are teaching children how to provide services like cooking and creating little gifts and, and you know, little things that you can buy at souvenir stores. And, a, and nearly, I think all of the money 
all the money, most of the money, goes back into the community, back to the people who need it, and to the children so they can use it to go to school, and then not only use the money, but use the skills that they've learned to get a job later in life. I'm really happy that this company has asked me to talk about it, because actually I'm really happy that I found out about the organization. I'm definitely gonna be using it in the future. I'll put all of the links and everything down below so that you can check it out. Your tourist money is so important, and it can go a lot further than you think it can. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy my chili pineapple margarita and some delicious, interesting food. <laughs> the menu here is so weird, by the way. Not weird, but interesting. Yeah, I'll show you. Look at all of these ingredients. They sound so delicious and so healthy. Lotus jackfruit and coriander hummus with crispy French bread. Yes, thank you. Look, they've even got barbecue frog legs on sugar cane skewers. Crazy. So the fruit here, and this one is hummus made from jackfruit lotus, something like that, some French bread. And this, the main dish, is a crocodile burger. Oh yeah. I also have a feeling I'm going to be really, really full at the end of this meal. <laughs> Another example of some great things to do with your money is to go and see the Fair Cambodian Circus. Now, I'm a big fan of live performances and circus, and for only $19, this show is just as good as some of the others that I've seen. All of the performers were once poor, hungry children on the streets of Cambodia before joining this non-for-profit organization that helps bring children out of poverty and into a life of the arts. And all of the money goes directly back into the business, helping the community and creating a better life for the children of Cambodia. Please go and see this show. It was such an incredible and powerful experience. That was amazing. I love that. <laughs> right next to the restaurant, there's this little like, gift store souvenir shop. And everything in the shop is made by the students that also helped make the food. And, and all of the money goes back into the schools. There. And everything in the store is made from like recyclable materials. And, and it's so amazing what they can do. Like, like all of this jewelry has been made from tiny bits of old magazine that have been rolled up. It's absolutely crazy. These bracelets here, these are made from bullet shells. Oh, this is made from like tires. This glitter is actually cut up pieces of like, like old packaging and stuff like that. And all of the stuff here is actually really reasonably priced, like actually really cheap. <laughs> it's not like your regular gift shop where everything's like 20 or 30 dollars under $10, under $5. It's crazy. It's really, really interesting. Oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. It's only like 9.30 and I'm so tired. <laughs> um, huge shout out to the company that reached out to me. Their name is All Good Travel. They support uh, non-profit charitable organizations that help the travel industry become better basically and it's really it's really helped me as well to become more aware of not contributing to the negative cycle that that tourists can contribute to even like without even thinking without knowing at all especially if you're traveling so often it's hard to know where the tourist tourist traps and and who's actually being genuine with you so it really does pay off to do like a little bit of research beforehand to find out what are the, the yes and the no things to do when you're in another country um, like do you give money to begging children on the street or do you not these are really like important things to know especially if you're traveling quite often because the more tourists go in and give in to that kind of um, trap, basically, just the longer the cycle is going to continue and it's, it's not going to help anyone. So yeah, go check out the links below and I hope that you've learned something today because I didn't do anything today, but hope that it's helped you in some way. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye!